exotic looks, a luxurious and technological interior, and a V10 roaring over your shoulder. This is the 2023 Audi R8 V10 Performance Spider, and you'll never feel the same after experiencing such a supercar like this one today. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video as the Audi family, well, for the R8, it's no more. I mean, they decided to discontinue what is this fire-breathing dragon from the brand. And the last cars were made in the first quarter of this year in 2024. That's it. Keep in mind that this 2023 Audi R8 V10 Performance Spider is a pre-owned model, but it only has 310 miles on the clock. That's it, 310. And you're actually saving over $13,000 on this model so with that said we are here at audi lakeland in florida and i want to take you guys around this beautiful black audi r8 spider a big shout out to audi lakeland for letting me take a spin around this spider if you guys are trying to get this car make sure you guys check the links in the description for their website for their phone number give them a call get this r8 out of here in your garage and out on those roads now I had to drop the top immediately because Florida is just Florida and it looks so good with this top down. So as you guys can see, we're looking at a Mythos Black Metallic Exterior Paint. And we have the Dynamic Package on here, the Carbon Exterior Package, Premium Package, Sport Exhaust Package, Carbon Interior Package. I mean, everything you can think of is here. Now up front, it is very Audi. Audi rings, big grill, R8 badging, and the most aggressive front splitter you'll see in the game look at that thing the feed through for the grill for obviously cooling so that is a functional grill on the side there and then obviously the matrix led lights that look very good we'll see those illuminated shortly the orange reflectors on the side because we're in america we gotta have those reflectors in orange but there's not much to say it's very simplistic very clean very audi up front and when it comes to the side profile, it starts to show off a little bit because part of our $12,000 plus dynamic package is going to give us these 20 inch wheels, five spoke, right? Those look great, but that doesn't justify $12,000 plus. Well, we do have Audi calipers, all right, with the script there as well. That's still pretty good, but it's what's holding those calipers on, and that's the carbon ceramic brakes. As you guys can see, the carbon ceramic brake package in the front and rear is here. Those are what the stopping power is all about when it comes to these cars and you're going to need it to stop that v10 now when it comes to the side profile you guys will see that we do have the airflow there and that is going to be for aerodynamics and then the classic audi uh, ra side blade which you guys will see on these models that really distinctive and you know they just they signify what the audi r8 really is when it comes to the side profile you'll see the door handle is hidden underneath with a actual physical key there as well and then you take a step back because we're going to the back in just a second yeah that's basically the side profile but again it's very audi r8 and it's very unmistakable now the rear profile has all of the character as you guys can see because we can see over the tunnel cutter cover where the actual you know roof retractable roof comes in and out well you can see that these look like big like i want to say wings on the back of the car where you have ventilation for the engine here and obviously stylistic elements and the carbon fiber surround that we have as part of a package which you'll see in the sticker breakdown but all this ventilation helps cool this engine on these hot days now coming to the back you also see that there are brake light integrated here with the audi rings right underneath those r8 badging and the led tails there which looks all good with actual functional again feed through for the grill because we need ventilation to help cool the exhaust which you guys can see the exhaust is poking out through there as well and then obviously the rear with the shark fin rear diffuser and the big oval exhaust sits done in black dual exhaust of course and the feed through right there for actual cooling again this r8 looks so sick take a look at it from the back and yeah you'll understand why it's in a league of its own now this is why you want an R8 because of the V10 engine that is no longer being made. This is where it's at guys. Come on, let's talk about it. 40 valve V10 aluminum block and heads with port indirect fuel injection and a power of, well, 
562 horses with a torque of 406 pound feet. That's gonna give you, with this seven speed dual clutch transmission, a zero to 60 time in about three seconds or 3.3 seconds with a top speed of 200 to 204 miles per hour. This is where it's at when it comes to engines. And this is as much as we're gonna see because it's the spider, so we can't really see much, but we see some carbon fiber, which is nice. But basically, this is what's all the noise. Speaking of noise, let's make some noise. And when it comes to fuel economy for the R8, you're looking at 17, 14, 23. So 17 combined city and highway, 14 city, 23 highway, and obviously premium fuel because this B10 needs it. Now for our front, we have around four cubic feet of space. What would you expect? It's pretty deep, so you guys will be able to get in there and get some things stowed away. We have a 12 volt plug-in, lighting setup as well, and then all your accessories you may need. But for the front, it's not bad. You do have your windshield wiper fluid there as well, but everything else is pretty clean and about, yeah, four cubic feet of space. I think that's plenty enough for what you're gonna use this car for. Now, as promised, I'm gonna shine some light on the situation here so you guys can see what the lighting units look like, all illuminated, low to the ground. And obviously, you can see the turn signal switch back right there with the LED headlamp as well. Now, in the mirror cap, right underneath that, we do have an amber turn signal there. And then once we come to the rear, the tails, you can see we have the reflector lit up, and then the tails with the sequential lights looking so Sinister. I love the way this looks. Now the key fob is very R8 with the R8 badging, gloss on the back with chrome, and then plastic on the sides. And on the other side, we have aluminum with lock. We have our uh, front release, I don't say trunk release, but front release. And then we also have our unlock panic and the Audi rings there as well. So it's pretty simple, pretty standard, but that R8, well, that means something. Now, I don't think I won't do a walk around of the cloth top so you guys can see what it looks like with the top up, right? Topless, it's very nice, but we gotta put the top up sometimes, right? You know, we can't always be walking around with the top off. So with that said, let's see what this looks like with the cloth top. And boom, now we have the cloth top on the R8. So now looking at it from this aspect, I know you guys have probably seen an R8 with the cloth top, but looking at it with the cloth top up, I want to know, and I probably already know the answer to this, which one do you guys like better when it comes to the overall appeal and look of the R8? Top up or top down? Do you like it with a top on or top list? I want to know what you guys think after seeing it now with the car top up. Now let's hop inside of the R8 because plenty of cabin space has been had inside of this vehicle. And before we even get in, you guys can see the sport bucket seats with the nice perforated leather uh, all throughout and it's good to see these seats and see how well they've held up over the time it's been used of that 310 mi uh, miles now with that said you have the big and Olsen insert right there which is really cool the r8 embossed in the seat as well and then you will see aluminum for the dead pedal brake pedal and gas pedal you will see aluminum for the r8 side still here as well you guys can't see that too well there we go all right and then on the door panel per usual we will see what our interior is made up of which is fine napa leather the stitching throughout and carbon fiber accents all throughout as well and again the bang and Olsen sound system you guys can see right there as well with aluminum touches you guys will see you can open up your hood from here and you also have your window and mirror controls here as well now let's step inside because this is where it's going to get good now we are in the cockpit and this steering wheel definitely it looks like a race car steering wheel fully perforated leather with the flat bottom steering wheel r8 badging the audi rings nice small airbag which makes it good for visibility when it comes to that digital instrument cluster but first we need to get going right we need to start this up it's hot it's florida and we probably should put the top down anyways so put it on the brake and you have a red engine start stop button here and geez that v10 sounds so good oh my gosh it is brought to life wow now, what I like about the interior of this already is there's no distractions right here with a infotainment screen right here in the center. So, you're focused mainly here. This is where you want to do a lot of your, you know, just 
dynamics and everything as far as when you're driving, when you're shifting through the gears, when you're paying attention to everything going on in front of you, this is where you want to be focused. They don't have any distractions over here really but your age back and you know, the little, little things here and there but that's it. So let's talk about this because since it's so race centric, I mean the cockpit right here with the steering wheel, we have power shifters on both sides to bang through our gears. We have our sport exhaust if I were to press that. Now I see the sport exhaust has opened up, but we also have a performance mode here as well. I press that. Now you really hear the exhaust open up and that sounds beautiful. Now you also have your drive mode selector here and this will take you between comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. Since I pressed the drive mode uh, selector, it took me out of performance mode. Just, I don't know if you guys could tell the tone of the exhaust after doing that. Now also keep in mind, we have our infotainment, or not infotainment, sorry, we don't have an infotainment. Our TFT instrument cluster controls for right here. We also have our hands-free controls, radio controls, nav, and everything there. We have our steering wheel stocks on both sides here, and then our driver assistance stock right here. Now, right here you will see that we do have our lighting controls hidden over there. All right, can you see those? And then, come up to the top where you'll see the beautiful Napa leather all throughout carbon fiber everywhere i mean check that out it's cool to see the carbon fiber in between the door and the actual dash which is really cool you can see it in the vents here and everything as well with the climate controls and heated seat set up here i love the digital screens for this also you got the wireless charger which my phone is currently sitting on you have usb 2.0 ports under there as well for charging and then you also have a 12 volt and an aux cable as well right here we can do our parking sensors and we can turn off our traction control while also doing our hazard buttons there. We have a big piece of carbon fiber with a nice perforated leather for the gear selector. And as you guys can see, we can go into drive mode here. All right, we can go into neutral and we can go into reverse. And when I go into reverse, you're wondering where does my backup camera go because I don't have a backup camera here. Look right here, right in front of you again, very driver centric for this model. All right, so you're focusing right up there. Parking sensors are automatically on when you put it in reverse. So, there we are now. Oh, sorry, P for park here. And now I'm in park, radio controls here. You can see nav, mat, radio, everything here that you will do for an infotainment screen. You're just gonna do it here, but it will go right up here, all right? So you will have all of that control for there. Now pay attention to these two buttons. This is gonna be your parking brake, but this is how you put down your top. This is how you let down your rear window, just in case you wanna hear your V10, but you don't wanna put the top down completely. Well, you can press that button, and now you'll be able to definitely hear it. Yeah, just by that. And actually, let's put it in performance mode. Now you hear that exhaust. Yeah, that is awesome. Now, I wanna put that up, which is fine, because when I put the top down, it's gonna automatically put the windows down and that down again. So let's do this, let's put down the top make her a spider all right so you see both windows go down and now the convertible top is going up and just that quickly new coupe no roof we are all set to enjoy this beautiful Florida Sun now the windows will go back up if you continue to hold that down because of the fact that you know you might not want necessarily the abstraction here for the windows but we're just gonna roll out the windows because we're gonna treat this as we would on a normal Florida day, right? I mean, come on, this is this is the way to do it in Florida. I mean, wow, all right. So now you're letting in a lot of natural lighting here, which is really cool. But other than that, keeping with the whole setup here, you do have a lock box right here in the center, just in case you do roll with your top down and you wanna store your belongings. And then you have your armrest here, which there's no physical button right here, right? But you go on the side here, there you go, that's where your button is, and obviously your armrest is gonna give you cup holders, I mean, because why not, all right? So that's where your cup holders are, press the button on this side or on this side as well. So for the most part, the interior of the R8 is beautiful. As you guys can see, we do have the digital instrument cluster here, which let's go into drive, and you will see that we still have the surround view camera there, which is fine because we can change things here by clicking our map and radio or change things to how we want them here, depending on what we wanna change for here, for the menu and everything here. So again, all this stuff is gonna be right here in the center and we can scroll through all of our options. And again, just, it's all driver-centric. 
but you still get the same Audi technology, you get the same drivability, uh, drivability and comfort and everything you would want out of a everyday road car because that's what this is made to be is an everyday road car. So again, if I press view here, I can change different things like right here, if I go between these two, I can scroll through. If I go to this, I can scroll up and down. You know, so there's a lot of different things go back. A lot of different things you can do with this whole menu setup just by using the buttons here and really customizing it how you would like it. Now with that said, looking up top, we do have our home link and everything there as well. And then we do have a little mirror. All right, no light, but we do have a little mirror there just in case you guys want to do your makeup. Now let's talk about the sticker of this R8 V10 Performance Spider Wheel Wheel Drive because holy crap, there's a lot of options. And I told you guys you're saving about $13,000. Well, I'll tell you what Audi Lakeland is selling it for once we get down to the actual MSRP. But standard, we started off at $171,000 even. After all these options we got, well, we also have a $1,300 gas guzzling tax and a $1,495 destination charge. So after all of that, we were looking at $203,590 for this car. But now with only 310 miles on the clock, and really it being a 2023 is obsolete because they're not making them anymore. But still, with that said, Audi Lakeland is selling it as of recording this video at $189,999. Like I said, you're selling or you're saving at least $13,000 on this for just 310 miles being on the clock. Crazy. So now let's talk about our options and everything we have on this because we're looking at the Mythos black metallic paint with the black roof at $595. The black interior is included for this model. Now the dynamic package gives you 20 inch five double spoke dynamic wheels and titanium finish. And oh, sorry, the dynamic package is $12,900 by the way. And then you get the ceramic front and rear brake disc. You have the racing shell seats and fine apple leather and the power height manual longitudinal seat adjustments. All right, so that's all for the $12,900. Those carbon ceramic brakes are like 10 grand alone. So that's why that um, option is so expensive. The carbon exterior package is $4,800, giving you the carbon Sigma side blades, carbon fiber airbox cover, and carbon fiber trim convertible top compartment lid. Now you also have a premium package, which is $4,500, giving you the Bang & Austin sound system, extended leather package, and illuminated, illuminated door sill inlays. Now you also have the sport exhaust package, $3,600, giving you the Audi Drive Select with performance mode, sport exhaust system with black exhaust tips, sport steering wheel with four satellite buttons as well, and you have a carbon fiber interior package at $3,400, giving you the sport, sorry, giving you the interior done with the carbon fiber bits we saw. Now you also have the front license plate but without the holder it's included and you have the gas guzzler tax we talked about and a destination charge that's everything you have on this model which is pretty crazy right now this is everything that is standard for this r8 v10 performance spider and man there's so much on here guys make sure you guys check the link in the description for the listing for the sticker everything you guys need to do to see this up close and personal at your own leisure but this already comes loaded up at $171,000 with a warranty of four years, 50,000 miles, 12 years against corrosion, four years roadside assistance. This is, this is what you want. You gotta get an RA. So at $189,000, what do you guys think about the R8 V10 Performance Spider? I can't get enough of it. That's why I just had to bring myself to get out of it just to do the outro. But I wanna know what you guys think. Saving over $13,000 with only 310 miles. Drop those comments down below what do you guys think about this spec in this car. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you check the links in the description. Help further support the channel and the dealership. Check the links to their website, their phone number, everything like that. Give them a call, get this car. And make sure you guys subscribe, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.